Good day, Gemini, and welcome to my channel. This is your monthly reading for March 2024. If you're new here, welcome. If you're coming back, oh, welcome back. I hope you're all doing well, and I hope this reading resonates with you. Universe speak. Spirit's guide. What needs to be known? What lessons need to be learned? Nine of spades. Jack of hearts. Four of spades. And wow, the ten, the ten of hearts. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. So your general energy for the month is the Ten of Hearts, happiness, abundance, success. You're going to be very satisfied this month. Uh, this is going to be a good month for you. The month of March is going to be very good for you um, in probably many, many different ways, uh, regardless of what the rest of the cards say. You will have a sense of happiness, and you will have much abundance, and there will be much success uh, regardless. So... Yeah, take that. I, I, there's nothing more I can say about it. That's that's the card right there. You know, you're gonna you're gonna have a pretty good month. You know, regardless of the possible you know issues that come up, you're you're still gonna be successful and abundant. Uh, at the beginning of the month, there is going to be the death of something. Now, this can be the death of a person, but most of the time. It's the death of something, the death of a relationship, the death of a job, the death of an ideal. You get what I'm saying. Uh, and here's the thing: it's going to be emotional. You know, there's going to, you know, there's going to be an emotional upheaval or whatever within you. Uh, it's possibly going to be painful and all that stuff. Uh, but the thing is, when that passes, when when that, you know, um, uh, when those un un uh, uh, un uh, emotional unstableness passes and you're no longer uh mourning the loss of this this death and whatnot you'll come to realize that uh, what what died off was causing you fear and worry and nightmares and other problems in your life and by it being gone now uh you are relieved of those things now um that that can take a minute to actually you know happen where you realize that uh you know it was actually a good thing you know to to an extent um but you will find that out you will see that the ending wasn't uh completely awful completely bad you know um in the middle of the month you're going to be very attractive both in business and in love so i mean if there is some kind of business idea or project or whatever that you're wanting to do in the middle of the month it will be a good time for you to put it out there It'll be a good time for you to find investors or a business partner or whatever. Uh, that would be the best time is here in the middle of the month. Um, uh, if you're looking for love, if you're interested in somebody, uh, the middle of the month is going to be the best time for you to get out there. Um, the thing is, is that uh, business type people are going to be attractive to you. They're going to uh, be very interested in what you have to say, your ideas and all that. And love interests, are, uh, during the middle of the month, there'll probably be love interests that are looking at you and wondering if you would want to be with them. You know, you already have people looking at you, so it's the best time for you to put yourself out there. Now, this means that you have to go out. You have to go out. You have to mingle. Uh, well, it doesn't necessarily mean that you had to go out exactly. So say you're an introvert, uh, you still need to put yourself out there. So like online or whatever, uh, make sure that you're, you know, uh, flirting or talking to business people or whatever, or approaching that, you know, special person that you're wanting to be with, uh, you know, uh, light that flame, you know, uh, cause it's not going to happen if you don't, but if you do, uh, you know the odds definitely are that things will work out because you're so attractive uh here in the middle of the month uh so don't uh, don't stand there just hoping that things happen uh make them happen because you can make them happen uh, i'd also say oddly enough i'd also say be on your guard as well because you're going to get people 
that are attracted to you that maybe you don't want their business maybe you don't want uh their love uh and you know they could talk you into it and you shouldn't you should wait for what you really want and what's best for you you know that's just a little thing i don't know why that came up in my head but that came up in my head that you know you need to be careful um because people love bomb people and um you know business especially business you know people come for you uh that that can't help you or just want to get on the bandwagon or whatever and you need to watch out for those people um at the end of the month you're going to have some loneliness probably some depression uh if you have a partner you're probably going to have some partner disappointment uh, and the cards say to search elsewhere. Don't search in yourself. Don't search in other people or uh, your partner. Uh, search in a friend, a good friend. Somebody that you know that when you're going through problems, they're not like, hey, let's go get drunk or, hey, let's go do something stupid in order to get past that. You know, uh, they're the person that's going to be like, okay, well, we need to do some positive things. We need to do some uh, constructive things to work you, your way out of this loneliness, out of this depression or whatever. Uh, somebody that when you're honest with them, they're honest with you. Somebody that you definitely know uh, wants the best for you, okay? And most of us usually have at least one of those people. So, and then you also want to look into positive, uh, encouraging music or entertainment of any kind. You don't want to uh, go near like depressing stuff or negative uh, entertainment, which when we are lonely and when we are depressed, we tend to go towards uh the the depressive uh negative uh entertainment because we want to have a relation you know uh between that but that is not what you actually need even if you go after that stuff at first please quickly something positive uh entertain yourself with something positive right after uh, because all you're doing is you're keeping yourself there in that loneliness, in that depression, in that disappointment. You know, you're not you're not working on getting yourself out of it. All right. So let's go ahead and see what the tarot cards have to say. Universe speak. Spirits guide. What needs to be known. What lessons need to be learned. And that card is the Nine of Wands. Okay, so the Nine of Wands is a feisty, fire-starting type person. Somebody that uh, takes action and asks questions later. And I feel like this is really... Um, this is really looking mostly at the uh, attractive part here of the business and love and, and going for it and taking action and, and not, you know, sitting around... Uh, questioning what could happen if I do take action instead just take the action you know uh, that's how I feel about this card is that it's just telling you uh, just you know reinforcing that you need to take action on this or nothing's going to happen you need to go out or you need to put yourself out online and let this person know that you love them or let people know that you're looking for somebody or or uh, promote you know uh present the uh you know project or or business idea or whatever it is that you have it's time to take action it's time to be like the knight of wands and go forth just don't you know don't lose yourself over it don't don't let your ego get too uh built up because i mean you are going to be attractive so that's going to be kind of easy for your ego to get you know uh built up too high where you might fall off your horse um, so there you go. Uh, biggest thing that I would go through with this is that happiness, abundant success. Here you need the ten of hearts. You got that, uh, and definitely taking action on what you need. Uh, this death, you just eventually you will see that it, it's good for you. And this again, I guess that this the, the, the knight of wands would, would qualify for this to um, take action on uh, making sure that you bring yourself out of that loneliness and that depression. Um, I hope this uh, resonated and I hope it helps. And if it does, hit that like button. And if you would, please comment, share, and subscribe. I hope to see you back here uh, next month. And until then, stay safe, stay mindful, and stay healthy.